Meanwhile, there are reports that Trump has been handing out his personal cell phone number to world leaders, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And the Associated Press is reporting our Prime Minister is the only one to have actually used it. With more on this developing story, CTV's Michelle Boyer is joining us now live from Ottawa. Michelle, why is this such a major issue in the diplomatic world? Well, because it brings up serious security concerns, Aaron. Uh, there is a lot of worry among the intelligence community, uh, national security experts, that this happened in the first place. Uh, usually world leaders, particularly the prime minister and uh, the president, only communicate via secure channels, secure lines uh, that are set up in, uh, in each office. Uh, the prime minister, uh, the, excuse me, the president, we do know has uh, a secure line in his, uh, in his limousine. That secure technology is called SCIF. It stands for Sensitive Compartmented Information Facility. Uh, and this was all set up because unsecure lines, landlines, like you and I use, as well as like our cell phones, are easily intercepted, can be easily intercepted and hacked by foreign governments. So uh, the government set up these secure facilities for, uh, for these world leaders to communicate. And the fact that they are not using them or that they haven't used them reportedly um, is concerning because if, for example, they are talking about North Korea or Syria, uh, there is a chance that foreign governments, and we've seen it before, are listening in to those conversations. So some uh, startling, startling revelations out of AP today. And I know you've reached out to the Prime Minister's office. What are they saying about this story? Not a thing. Their spokesperson said they're not involved in the calls. They don't know anything about them. Uh, but what we do know is that there have been several calls uh, between Prime Minister Justin Trudeau uh, and President Donald Trump. I want to share a list of uh, just a few of those calls with you. Uh, we're talking about most recently, April 26th, uh, the two discussed NAFTA. The day before that, they talked about trade. Syria was discussed on April 7th. Uh, a lot of talks about the partnership between Canada and the U.S. That was on February 23rd. January 30th, uh, Donald Trump called Trudeau to discuss the mosque shooting. And November 9th uh, was a call from Trudeau to uh, Trump congratulating him on his election win. Now, what facilities uh, were used there except for the election win, because we do know that Trump had not been inaugurated. Um, usually they are secure channels, but when these, when these calls happen, uh, there is a huge setup. Somebody from the Privy Council office is actually there putting in encryption codes uh, in the phones to set up the communication. There are staffers that are recording it. Usually the, the time of the call is set up uh, well in advance in most cases. So there's a lot that goes into these calls. And uh, there are a lot of concerns that, you know, if somebody can just pick up the phone and call the president, that there's not the framework around them to make sure that uh, the country's best interests are respected if somebody changes their story a little later on. So uh, some interesting and concerning uh, revelations, particularly uh, worrying the uh, some national security experts, Aaron. CTV's Michelle Boyer for us in Ottawa on this story. Thanks. We'll check in with you soon. Thank you.